Are you starstruck and did you see it? The Bay Area dazzled by a dramatic and unexpected fireball in the sky. Good evening and thanks for joining us on this Friday. I'm Raj Mathai. And I'm Jessica Aguirre. The sky is brimming with action. First, an asteroid skims past Earth tonight, and now a meteor streaks across the Bay Area skies. Want to show you some dash cam uploaded video on YouTube that shows what appears to be the fireball as it crossed around 745. Now, the driver says he was headed southbound on 280 out of San Francisco. Turns out he wasn't the only Night Star viewer. We got calls from far as St. Helena to south as Gilroy. In fact, NBC Bay Area's own Jody Hernandez and her husband witnessed it in Fairfield, and they spoke with us via FaceTime. So we were driving um, on Interstate 80 westbound in Fairfield, and all of a sudden uh, we just saw this bright light falling from the sky. It was like a bright white streak, and it kind of ended in a ball. And I was just like, I, I couldn't get the words out fast enough, like, look, 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 Victor. And, of course, he saw it, and one of our sons saw it, and it was just spectacular. I had been covering my, a story on meteors and asteroids all day, and then I couldn't believe that I, I, w I was actually seeing one just a few hours later. Chances of that. Well, people posted quickly to our Facebook and Twitter feeds. One viewer in San Jose tonight saying it was bright green when it first appeared, then it went to a bright yellow. It was awesome. Another viewer also in San Jose said it looked just like the one I saw back in October, except it was a little smaller. It was greenish in color. Everyone in the parking lot stopped and looked at it. What a show it's been. A destructive meteorite hits Russia and then this giant asteroid. NBC Bay Area Stephanie Trong joins us at Chabot Observatory with more on what scientists are saying about all this cosmic activity. But we begin with NBC Bay Area's chief meteorologist, Jeff Ranieri, who joins yeah. us with a closer look at the size of tonight's event. That was yeah. picked up on radar. Yeah, let's just say it has to be extremely large in order for the Doppler radar to pick up anything like this. So what I did is I fine-tuned the radar. I took it down to what is known as a D BZ level of 5.3. That's telling the radar scan to pick up everything it can find in the lower atmosphere. And from the time of those reports from 7 to 8, 10 tonight, you can see this wave of green moving up from the peninsula also into the North Bay. That's a sign of some of that unusual activity in the atmosphere. This is not fog. It is not rain. But again, it's part of that meteor that streaked across the sky and or part of its contrail. So just another neat way to look at what happened as we are also continuing to get those pictures in. As far as the meteor trajectory goes, we started getting reports in St. Helena and Santa Rosa. Then it started to trickle in across Walnut Creek and also San Francisco. And then finally, a lot of you saw it across the South Bay in San Jose, Morgan Hill, and also on Santa Cruz. Some of my estimates that I've calculated show the Bay Area travel distance was somewhere near 140 miles of this same very object. So by all indications, it's leading us to believe it's some sort of meteor fireball whether it's related to the other coincidences happening across the world in the past 24 hours, we're just going to have to wait and see. But this is definitely something that caught a lot of our viewers tonight. And, uh, well, they're, so to speak, somewhat starstruck. <laughs> we yeah. sure are. Fascinating yeah. what's happening. There are